If I had to make a list of the most underrated family haulers on the market today, the Subaru Outback would probably rank somewhere near the top. It's quietly carried around families and all their stuff for 20 years, with its practicality only matched by its versatility. But with so much competition from crossovers these days, does Subaru Sport Utility Wagon still have what it takes? There's only one way to find out. We're driving what's basically just a small step up from the base Outback, which means it gets its power from a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine. Yeah, you can get a larger six-cylinder under the hood of the Outback, but honestly, there's not much point. It makes more power, but it also burns more gas, and you don't really need that in a family hauler like this. Regardless of which engine you choose, the Outback comes with a continuously variable automatic transmission. But in Canada, it also comes with a tried and true six speed manual gearbox, which is the transmission I would choose. With the smaller of the two engines under the hood, the Outback's good for 175 horsepower and 174 pound feet of torque. It's not going to wow anyone, but it's more than enough for the rigors of daily driving. Power isn't abundant, but delivery is really smooth with either transmission between the seats, and the throttle response is impressive and won't leave you asking for more. Like pretty much every manual Subaru this side of the WRX, the six-speed in the Outback is less than perfect. The clutch is really long and kind of vague, the engagement point is really tricky to find sometimes, but the shifter is nice and smooth and features really pronounced gates that make slotting it into gear super, super easy. Out here on the road, the Outback drives as smoothly as any mid-size crossover out there. It glides over uneven pavement without much fuss and body roll is almost non-existent even though this thing sits almost 9 inches off the ground. The ride is also more compliant than you might expect, with the stilted suspension feeling not too stiff or not too soft, giving it more of a car-like ride than a sport utility. The Outback doesn't look quite as rugged as something like the Crosstrek, but it's got a little bit of body cladding to protect it out on the trail. It's also got these roof rails that are rated to carry 150 pounds of gear if you can't find a way to stuff it all in the back. But that shouldn't be a problem either, with the Outback offering 35 and a half cubic feet of storage space behind the rear seats and a whopping 73 with them folded. Up front, the Outback has plenty of room to carry four grown adults. Even with the front seats positioned for somebody like me to sit comfortably, there's still plenty of room in the back without having to fold up into a pretzel. The interior of the Outback also offers a nice and clear view of what's around you. Nice and tall seats give you a commanding view of the road ahead, and all the extra glass around back cuts down on blind spots in a big way. Our tester's also been fitted with blind spot monitoring for an extra sense of security, and adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist can be added. Even in lower grade trims, the Outback comes pretty well equipped and is decked out with features like a rear view camera, cruise control, automatic climate control, and heated front seats. Even the stereo in these base models is pretty impressive even though it only has six speakers and puts out pretty solid sound. And speaking of sound, about the only complaint I have about driving the Outback comes from the clatter of the engine. If you've driven a Subaru before, you'll recognize the sound of the boxer engine right away, but if you haven't, it can take a little bit of getting used to. The infotainment system is Subaru's Starlink interface running through a 7-inch touchscreen on the dash. It's also one I'm not crazy about. I've talked about this before, but for a refresher, it's laggy and convoluted, and this thing could really benefit from the integration of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Otherwise, these seats are pretty comfy even in cloth, everything is well laid out, and most of the materials feel pretty nice to the touch. It's a spacious cabin, yet it somehow still feels cozy, and it's one of the easiest to live with on the market today.
With so much competition in the midsize crossover segment these days, it's easy to forget about the under the radar Outback. But with its incredible cargo volume, easy to live with ways and adventurous personality, it's still at the top of its game and as underrated as ever.